So, welcome to Warhammer... No, it's not actually. No, it's not Warhammer, is it? This is Deathwing. Deathwing is an oldish sort of game. Came out in 2017 originally. Fortunately, the, um, the devs made such a pig's ear of it, they had to go away and make an enhanced version, which this is. So there's a few changes from the original. And this came out in 2018. Oh, excuse me. Who's this guy? Well, okay. So premise of the game is very much like the old board game of uh, Space Hulk where you're five Terminator units which are like think Sevi Sevi it's really heavy um, space marines they've got these massive clunky uh, well as you can see clunky armor suits on and the plan is oh, oh what got going on here I cleanse thee Oh, cack. We are getting absolutely caned here. Well, right. I'll be back in a second with with uh, some chat. So basically, we are a Terminator unit. We go into these big derelict space hulks, spaceships, which are basically, well, they look like cathedrals in, in space. Space cathedrals. And we go out there and we do what we can be considered um, pest control, basically. That's what we are. Yeah, we're, we're a bunch of pest controllers. For the Empire. Anyway. So why am I playing this? Well, I did get a copy of Necromunda the other day. And uh, Necromunda hired guns, that is. And I thought, it's so dreadful, I'd rather go back to this. Now, this is a game which is well known for being not that great. And you know what? I can actually deal with it. Where this game comes into its own is when you're playing co-op like I am at the moment. If you choose to play single player, it's a bit of a waste of time really. There's only three marine units instead of the full complement of four when you play co-op. You do get to unlock equipment and skins and whatnot, but I haven't actually done that if I'm honest in quite a while. Nice bit of lore. Now, the game itself was made by uh, who they call, what they call Stream on Studio. So yeah, they went off after making this game. They went off, made Necromunda, hired guns, and uh, yeah, majorly disappointing. Apart from the fact that they get the atmosphere spot on. Oh. Right, those explosive guys are actually one of the enhancements for the enhanced. Oh, what? Jesus. Anyway, this game has really grown on me again. But as I say, it all really depends on whether you can find some decent guys to play with. Ooh, oh, it is a relic. Let me reload. I love using the flamers. Damn, what was that? taught by people. I did press one. I don't know why it does. See, I don't really know that much about the game, but it's worth getting back into. So anyway, if you want to try this out, which I recommend, grab it in a Steam sale, because for some weird reason, they want to charge you uh, like 30 quid when, it is no, when there's no Steam sale. And you can close doors. I'm going to close the door. Now I'm locking it. Oh. Wait for me, boys. Now, one of the major disappointments is no mod. What the hell was that? Oh. They rate that full. I was just saying, one of the major disappointments is no modding. If this if this game was moddable, ah, oh, it would be epic. Because if you love playing stuff like Vermintide, then you probably enjoy this. Now. It has been described as very clunky, but I feel that really fits in nicely with the lore of the game, because these, uh, these are huge... Oh, excuse me. Huge Terminator sort of armor units, so the, these aren't, you know, this isn't for doing ballet. In. Where are we going? 
Damn, these two guys are experienced. I'm only level 10, look at this guy. 580, 457. I mean, this other guy, <laughs> he's even worse than me. Don't worry, Alex, watch out. I have saved you, brother. So yeah, this is, you know, the main reason I've kind of really been enjoying this game is I've been finding people online who actually want to play a co-op game properly, it seems. Oh, can I lock it? Oh, right. So they're not all rushing off trying to get glory, because if you do that in this game, you get killed, quite simply. Brothers. Right, let's see if we can get this mission done. Now, as I said before, if only there was. Oh my lord. Oh, my legs. I need the pocket ferry. Oh, medic. Oh. H. Oh. 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 No, no. No, no, ah, pressing the wrong buttons. Tried to be uh, thankful and type stuff in, and nearly got killed. Still. If that's the other thing, it would be nice. VoIP in this type of game. So if you've got four friends who want to play this, pick it up on a sale. Because I picked it up for like six or seven quid in the Steam sales. Grab four of your mates, and you'll have a pretty good time. Because uh, that said, I found from experience... You can have fun with a bag of poo and a box of matches, as long as you're with friends. Right, gotta watch out. I'm amazed by the scenery though. The scenery looks absolutely great, just like Necromunda does. I just kind of wish the, uh, the dev studio would do something about making a better game. But... Oh, I think these guys need, need a hand. Do you... Do you need a hand, brothers? These guys know what they're doing. Shoot and retreat! I love that one. You can just bash doors open. Alright, carry on. Will we make this? Working as a team for the Emperor. Die, Xenos scum! There we go. So yeah, I would love to see... Well, I don't know. I'd love to see more Space Marine games, but... um. I don't know, they're always a little bit on the lacking side, I find, so... Oh. So, I mean, I've never come across, like, a, a 40k game, which is what I would consider to be... I don't know. Oh, hello. I found the Relic Brothers. These guys know their way around the relics, I tell you. Yeah, I was just saying, I never really found a game which was 100% um, satisfying. I mean, looks-wise, this this is, you know, as we say here in the UK, it looks the bollocks. But they always seem to fall a bit flat. I mean, I know a lot of people like Vermintide. The Vermintide games seem to be very popular. But, uh... I don't know. They don't really do it for me. Keep running, brothers. Movement! Melee him! Yes. Maybe I should get some unlocks. Eventually. Or at last. 
I will cover the retreat, brothers. Yeah. The other thing with this game is I've, um... It did make me spend a lot of money on the Black Library, so I've been reading a lot of the, uh, the lore and whatnot. Oh. Yeah. Why is he not going down? Oh, he went down eventually. Oh. Brothers? Uh, this is just like aliens. Ah! Oh. No. My retreat is blocked. Save yourselves, brothers. With these games, eventually, I've just got to say, this is just awesome fun. But anyway, oh, have we made it? Oh, where do we need to go? It's just a shame that the campaign itself is only like 10 or 11 chapters long, so it's a bit disappointing in, in those regards. But, um, but for just a really good, fun, sort of co op game like Left 4 Dead, you can't beat it. Anyway, it looks like we've uh, completed the mission, so I'm going to love you and leave you and not bore you anymore. Grab it on sale, and maybe I will see you in one of these space hulks and we can purge the Xenos together. But until then, this is Hip Kelp, signing off.